Hey everybody, welcome to Superhero Month at Auntie Vera Scrap and Craft. I have a great project for you this month. The inspiration I have for this month's first project is this one. This is my son's wallet. It is a superhero wallet and uh, you know, good old wallet to use for your high school pass and whatnot. I thought it would be a good idea to reproduce this for anyone who wants to make themselves a superhero wallet. So this is what I came up with. Uh, I used the Marvel Comics scrapbooking paper and uh, you know I think I did a really good job. It's got all the card slots here, it's got a little section there, another section there, and another section there and it definitely looks superhero-ish. I also then went one step further and I created the clutch wallet for anyone who is so inclined. Totally loving the superhero theme here. And uh, same thing here. So with this one, you have an invisible area there so you can tuck your ID. I love this little addition here. Um, another pocket there. And then you've got three sections here. One, two and another section here three this is also a little pocket here and this just acts like a little dashboard and it has the almighty humble closure of the elastic band love the elastic band didn't want to do buttons didn't want to do ribbons didn't want to do anything bulky i just wanted it to be quick and superhero-ish one thing that i will say is grab some duct tape i use this clear packing tape uh, for this one and I used my handy dandy laminator for this one so two different ways of making your wallets very durable in both my tutorials so if you're interested in making either one of these wallets stay tuned that's coming up next I'm gonna start off here by separating the sheets you get two of each design in the pack and so I move one set to the side for another project. Uh, I'm just flicking through here and trying to decide what the outside of my wallet is gonna look like. Now, the one thing you have to remember is that the front left-hand side is going to be what is obvious. This is one of those wallets that just fits in the back of your pocket. So the front right-hand side is what is mainly gonna show. So I go for this uh, Marvel comic paper and it shows all the superheroes and it's just the right size now I've cut them down to nine by four and what I'm doing here is adding clear packing tape now why am I adding clear packing tape this paper although really beautiful and a superhero themed is really thin and if you start using it as a proper wallet you're guaranteed to tear it or crinkle it or whatnot so you do need to back it up you can choose to mod podge it if you like it'll give it extra durability but I chose to use clear packing tape you can also use contact tape you can use a laminator I use a laminator in my next tutorial to show you that that is also possible so I'm just writing down the dimensions here on the side for you I've got two panels cut at nine inches by four and I have two little bits that are four by one and one piece that is nine by one. And they're gonna act as the hinges so that you can close the two nine by four panels and turn them into a pocket. Now, what you see me doing here is I'm using a combination of double-sided sticky tape. One is for that stick right now and one is for that extra stick for future use. Sometimes projects come apart when you just use double-sided tape a little later on in the future, so it's always good to double it up and use PVA glue, which is what I'm using at the moment. What I also decided to do was add a liner to the inside, so when you open up that pocket, you uh, look in and it's just white paper, and you can leave it like that, that's fine, but it is really nice to open it up and see a contrasting color and so that's what I've done here. I've cut another two panels that are just shy of nine by four on both sides so that they can fit in nicely and not interrupt the hinging. And I go ahead and I score once more and that is the start of my wallet and it's looking really good. 
So now we're on the inside. Remember it's nine inches all the way across. So the halfway point is four and a half. I'm looking at a pocket on the right hand side. It has to be four inches. So I add half an inch on the one side cause that's gonna be the hinge. The pocket is going to open towards the left. And so for the height, you're gonna have to add a hinge of 0.5 inches on either side, making the height of it five inches. So remember the wallet is four inches. If you add a half on either side that will act as the hinge, it will make it four. And I'm just showing you here what I'm doing. I'm scoring it. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to taper in the hinges for a better fit and less bulk. Before I add the double-sided sticky tape, I am using my clear packing tape once again for that durability. And uh, yeah, you don't want it to tear. And I actually do want to use this as a wallet. So I want to give it the best chance it has to uh, not come apart. Always make sure that you burnish the double-sided tape. Also make sure that you burnish the packing tape down and try with all your might not to have any bubbles. If you have bubbles, you have bubbles, but try not to get bubbles as best you can. I am just aligning the corners here and I'm holding them down with bulldog clips just to give that PVA glue a chance to dry. We're gonna repeat that pocket on the left-hand side. And I'll just say really quickly here, um, the choice of paper that you use is kind of important. So I use this adorable, amazing piece of paper that has Spidey swinging and I love it. And then I realized, what am I doing? I'm gonna add a second pocket on top of it. Nobody is ever gonna see Spidey. So although the right-hand side used the right paper, the left-hand side, I feel like I maybe wasted this paper because nobody's gonna see it. So for this left pocket, go ahead and use a boring piece of paper because nobody's going to see it. You can choose to not do anything after this. You can choose to leave it as this kind of wallet. And at any stage of this tutorial, if you feel that that's enough for you, go ahead and stop right there. I am just going to design this wallet to mimic the wallet that my son has. So this is where I realized that uh, that nobody's gonna see this this pocket either. And so I just go for the very plain looking black paper. What's gonna happen now is we're gonna put card holders on top of these. So the choice of paper that you have on the left hand side is not as important as the pocket on the right hand side. What you will wanna make sure is that the paper for the card holders are the ones that are superhero-ish or whatever theme you're going for. So I cut down my card holders to this size, four and a half wide, and then the large one is going to be three and a half high, and the smaller one is going to be three inches high. Once again, I add my clear packing tape and I score along the hinges, and then I taper the hinges as well, and then I start sticking them down. Do make sure that you double check to see that that card from the top holder doesn't stick out. That's really important. I'm just adjusting here on the right hand side, just making it so that it's flush with the pocket. And then what I'm doing is putting a little bit of packing tape and I'm adding the packing tape and then sliding it underneath the pocket. What I then decide to do is add some packing tape along the bottom here and also folding that and making sure that those hinges don't come up. Now this is uh, this is a superhero wallet. It's kind of cool and, you know, um, not so... Um, I, I don't mind that I'm using packing tape. I don't mind that there's a bit of shine. I don't mind that it's got um, that it's got packing tape covering it. I wouldn't do this with my journals. I wouldn't add packing tape, but I I don't mind doing it here. It kind of reminds me of that time when I made duct tape wallets, kind of very close to it. So. I really don't mind the addition of clear packing tape here along the sides to hold the card holders in place as well as the hinges holding it in place. 
Now after I made the second card holder, I decided that there was still room that I could add a third card holder. So I just did that really quickly off camera. I added a third pocket there. And then what I'm doing is I'm using the washi tape at the very top to give a superhero theme. So I love that pop of yellow color. And then I go ahead and add this one as well. It is really important to add double-sided tape here. The washi tape is just paper tape. It's not that sticky. It's not real washi. It's not the Japanese washi that we're used to. And plus it's going onto uh, uh, plastic or clear tape. So it kind of peels straight off. So do, do go ahead and use PVA glue or double-sided tape. So that's my wallet. That's three card slots there. There's a couple on the side as well. And then you've got the main pocket for the money. Uh, so pleased with this. When I showed it to my son, he absolutely loved it. So I think I'm gonna have to make a second one so that I can give it to him because I really love this one. After I finished this wallet, I was in such a wallet creating mood that I went ahead and made another one. And then I also went ahead and made a clutch wallet. And I have that for you in another tutorial, which I'll add in the link below and up here as well in the corner. So I hope you check that out. Thank you so much for joining me, you guys. I hope you, I hope you go ahead and try to make this. This is so much fun. And it doesn't have to be superhero, of course. Pull out some of those papers that you've been hoarding and make an amazing wallet, which you can just pull out and show people while you're getting your change. Have a great day, everybody, and I'll see you in my next video.